Hey everyone, Michael here with OK Let Me Review It, and today I am reviewing the Pingo uh, 10 inch selfie ring light. So let's get into the unboxing of this, shall we? I'm going to try to adjust the phone stand here so you can see just a little bit of what's going on. So, first. Get it all open. And there's really nothing on the box. They're just that. Like, nothing. Um, yeah, it's Pinko. P I N G K O. So, Pinko 10 inch selfie light ring. So, the very first thing we have is the instruction manual and how to adjust the brightness and the lighting. Uh, what else is in here? It says, thank you for purchasing the selfie ring light. Package includes a 10 inch ring light, tripod, tripod ball head, tripod selfie remote control, instruction manual, and goose neck arm. So, and then this just tells you how to Put it all together and then the different modes of lighting and how to set up your um, remote control that comes with it. Okay, so right out of the so there's really nothing else in the box. Here's everything. So you have your 10 inch ring light. onboard controls and then this is the tripod and the gooseneck tripod so here's the tripod standard little um, metal leg and you know what I don't know how large that is so let's give it a measure So it stands eight and a half inches tall or or nineteen and a half centimeters. And this is all metal. Except for the bottom here, those are little rubber leggies. Uh, let's put that there. What else is in this? We have the gooseneck um, phone clip, a ball head, and what is this? Is another phone clip and the camera remote control. So I'm going to put this all together now. Okay. That's so interesting how they package that. Like, I appreciate the packaging, but it's kind of unique that they would package it like that, but none of the other parts came like that. They all came in these like little baggies. Oh, and this phone clip came that way too. Unique. I don't know why they wouldn't just put it all in bags or, but whatever. Okay, so this part here is rubberized and this is the gooseneck and it's on a ball head also. So this is for holding your phone in place um, this selfie ring has a center section right here where you snap your phone into, or if you have a hot, like one of those hot shoes, you can place that in there and like screw a regular, uh, camera onto it, which I think is probably how I'm going to work it or stick this phone in there. 
Uh, what did I just do with those legs? There they are. And this is really light also. It's all plastic, except for the part where you screw in and up here. rest of the packaging and try to set this up oh my okay so I don't like how far out the legs can adjust doesn't seem like you can like secure those too well And please excuse my cat. She's singing the song of her people right now. She seems to think that she is starving to death. And I just literally fed her. Okay. So there's all that. I'm going to pause the video. And move on over to the new. Okay. So here is just the natural light coming in on. Um from the day and now here is the, the ring light oh my okay that's the highest setting and that's the lowest So, okay, let's see. Oh, now let's go to the next mode. So this is that peachy tan color. This is the highest. And there's lowest. And then back to bright white. Oh. Okay, so now this is another white. So that's the brightest, and here's the lowest. And back to super bright. And then studio bright. So, all in all, I love the, the amount of illumination that this light is providing me. What I don't care for, though, is the freaking tripod um there's absolutely no way to lock the legs into place so they just keep like spreading all the way out and if you try to like do it in any other way besides having the legs completely spread out like that um it it wants to tip over so um i'm not a huge fan of how those how that tripod works um, I may end up just sticking it onto another type of a tripod that I know I can work with that is like this this type of a tripod here. This is my little knockoff GoPro, but I might be putting it onto this tripod here. And the reason the light shut off is because I have it hooked up to this little power pack. And this power pack uh, decelerate or it shuts itself off after a few minutes. So we'll turn it back on here. One, two, and three. There we are. So, yeah, I'm probably going to put that on there just because the width that this can go is like that far this one has a really large foot space um i mean if you have a huge working surface that would work out for that awesome high fives all around um but you know all in all i am extremely happy with this i love the amount of light that it's like throwing off i like the halo luminescence that it's giving me in my glasses um 
makes me like realize that next time I go to get a pair of glasses, I need the anti-reflection stuff. Okay. Well, <laughs> apparently the battery pack is saying we're done with this video. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. If you have a product that you would like for me to test out, um, please shoot me an email. Okay, let me review it at gmail.com. Uh, head over to the blog. Okay, let me read. <laughs> okay, let me review it. Blogspot.com for uh, products that I do reviews for on. Um, don't really make videos on. Um, and so yeah, with this reading light, I'm giving it a eight out of ten. Uh, the reason I'm giving it such a low number is, be well, the 8 out of 10 is 100% to do with that stupid tripod that it came with. I just don't like how unbalanced things are with it, and it seems to be a little wonky. Um, so, above and beyond that, though, I am in love with this, and this is going to be my new best friend. So, um, again... If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.